All right, it is time for the quarterfinal of the 2022 World Cup. In the last episode, we beat Mexico 3-2 in the round of 16. And now we are facing the Netherlands in the quarterfinals. Once again, the other games are France, Spain, Portugal, Uruguay, and Germany versus Brazil. So at this point, there are only good teams left in the World Cup. So no matter what, we're going to play a tough team. All right, so this is what I'm starting with. I'm going to start Sancho at Cam. And we are probably going to bring Madison off the bench later on in the game. But I'm giving Rashford another chance at right wing. Our game against Mexico is pretty tough. Probably more tough than it should have been. And the Netherlands are a better team. So we are going to have to play a lot better if we want to make it to the semifinals. All right. So quarterfinal of the 2022 World Cup. England versus the Netherlands. The Netherlands have a very, very good team. But so do we. So we have a shot in this game like we have in any other game. This team has the ability to win the World Cup. As that is an early foul on Trent. Sancho into Sterling. Into the middle. Almost a good shot. That was a very early chance. Even though that game against Mexico was a little bit tougher than it was supposed to be. I'm still confident in this team. Harry Kane can almost get to that cross, but can't quite get up for it. We are definitely on the front foot to start this game off. All right, Sterling into Luke Shaw. Sancho has a shot. He is actually fouled. I think that's going to be on the edge of the box. It is. This is going to be a chance for Trent to put us up 1-0. I'm going to try to get it in the corner. What are we going to do from this? And Trent, and Trent starts us off, putting us up 1-0 off a free kick. What a free kick by Trent. Trent Alexander-Arnold, what a free kick. I usually don't score free kicks, so that is actually kind of shocking. Did not think I was going to score this one, but the, walls just, the wall just didn't jump. But that is pretty far out of the keeper's reach. All right, that is a very, very good start. We're up 1-0. About 20 minutes played. We've definitely had the better start to this game. I actually don't think the Netherlands have gotten into our half in this game. It has all been played in their half. Now Trent out on the wing. Into Sterling. Can Sterling get a shot away? That is a weak shot right at the keeper. Decent chance. Decent chance. We are definitely creating a lot in this game. And... Trent just won that tackle. Sancho, who is doing very well at cam, I must say, into the box. Kane, I want you to make an overlapping run. But instead, Sancho takes it himself. And we are 2-0 up, 27 minutes played. What a start this is by this team. Sancho turns on his left foot. That is a good finish. He did that for me a lot in my Dortmund career mode. And he just did it for me. In the World Cup, we are playing very, very good. Or, or the Netherlands are just playing really, really bad. I actually don't know. Because they still have not even put an attack together. We just have so much room. Look at Rashford making a run. Again, down this wing, we just have a lot of room to play through balls out. Kane. Deli Alley. Turns, might as well have a shot this far out. And I think Sancho actually blocked that. As Luke Shaw can't get the ball to Deli Alley. And they will probably get the final attack of the first half. But Trent, but Trent is having such a good game. And we go into halftime up 2-0. There's a ball out on the wing to Quincy Promise. Ball crossed in. Bergwijn gets to that, but it is wide. That was a pretty good chance. Honestly, we're up 2-0. We do not need to play this second half at a fast pace. We can play it at a slow pace. Control possession. Control the game. That is all we need to do. Not give the ball up in bad spots. Sterling coming forward. Might try and get a cross to someone. That was a decent looking cross. But the keeper is able to control that. Juan Bissaka is coming back into the box. Deli Ali can make it three, and a defender is able to block that. Probably should make subs soon. Actually, let's make some subs right now. 
All right, let's do Sancho for Madison, Rice for Trent. I'm just doing based on straight fitness. And let's give Dwight McNeil his first appearance in this World Cup. All on the wing. This is looking dangerous from the Netherlands. Wannabe Saka. Wannabe Saka gets beat at the far post once again. And we can see. I have to, I have to see this again. I have to see this again. I thought he would clear this. Ball is crossed in. He's in front of him. But Clivert just jumps up a little bit higher, I guess. All right. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. This last 15 minutes just got more complicated for us. Good interception by Stones. Just do not want to give them good looks at goal. Eight minutes left. Trying to hold this lead. Dwight McNeil, good touch into Declan Rice. See Madison. Can you make it three? And we hit the post. We hit the post. That would have sealed this game. But now, Netherlands have an opportunity to tie it up, which is not good. That is a good ball through. Stones is having to come out of position to cover. Shaw should take over. Stones can go back. But Stones is out of position again. Good save by Jordan Pickford. We are in the 90th minute. Do not do this to me, FIFA. Do not do this to me. Corner swung in. Van Dyke gets to that. But that is a terrible header. I'm gonna pass this out. Just don't give it up. Just don't give it up, and we're fine. Let's hold the ball for two minutes, and we should be fine. Let's take the ball forward. And that is the full time whistle. So we advance to the semifinals of the World Cup. Man, the Netherlands played a terrible game. They didn't even have their first attack till the second half, I think. Those last 15 minutes got a little nervy, but we make it to the semifinal. All right, so these are the results of the quarterfinals. We take down the Netherlands 2-1. Spain beats France 3-2, so the 2018 World Cup winners are out. Portugal beats Uruguay 3-1, and Germany beat Brazil once again by a goal margin of 1-0. So we could possibly have Germany, Portugal, or Spain in the semifinals. So let's see who we have. Semifinals, and we have Spain. So England versus Spain in the semifinals of the 2022 World Cup. On the other side, it is Portugal versus Germany. Like I said before, at this point in the World Cup, we're gonna get a tough team in every single round we advance in. And Spain are a pretty tough team. I don't really remember their lineup, so I'm going to look at it one more time. So, Anaki Williams, Rodri, Saul, Ramoso, Grimaldo, Isco, Asensio, Alba. So, they have some they have some players I recognize, but I don't know who Lauren is. 28 years old, 84 rated. I mean, if you're comparing teams, I think our team is better. In terms of overall, at least, we look like we have the better team. Kind of like the Netherlands. Their midfield is really good. Defense is decent, but their front three, in comparison to us, are lacking. But this is going to be a tough game. We are so close to the World Cup final. Spain are the last team standing in our way. I am just going to go same team as usual because they played very good against the Netherlands. England versus Spain in the semifinals of the World Cup. Let's see if we can make the final. All right, semifinals of... The 2022 World Cup, England, Spain. These are two very good teams. We are so close to making the World Cup final. We just need to do our job this game, just like we did against the Netherlands. So, David De Gea is starting in goal, actually, even though when we looked at the lineups, I think Kepa was starting in goal for them. So, they do change their lineup. That is interesting, as that ball is not going to reach Sterling. Asensio is playing as well. But this is a different Spain team than the one we saw. They come forward looking decent. That pass is not a good pass. At least they've started better than the Netherlands. Carvajal gets a cross in. Harry Maguire up for that. Very, very up for that. He is good in the air. I must say that about Maguire. He's slow, but he's very good in... Defending crosses. 
And that almost was very bad. Pickford probably would have caught that, but Juan Bisaka puts it over the bar. Just trying to be as safe as possible, I guess. Carvajal coming forward. They always score from those. Pickford, good save. They always go for these shots. They drive in whenever they're in this spot. It's like the CPU just triggers a finesse shot that goes right into the corner of the net. All right, almost half an hour played. They have created the better chances than us as Shaw cannot get that ball to Sterling. If anything, we have started this game worse than they have. But that could change very quick as we are now on the break with Marcus Rashford. Gets past one. Keeps going. Keeper is out. And Deli Ali scores. I don't know what the keeper is doing. But that is our one goal lead. Rashford beats his defender and I guess he's covering Sancho. But Deli Ali puts that in. Past David De Gea. We are 1-0 up. That seemed like a lucky goal. That is pretty much our first shot on target. But I will take it. Spain have started this game off better. So that is a good goal to score. I would love to go into halftime up 1-0. But they look like they want to change this. Ball is crossed in. Asensio is up for that. Pickford doesn't even try and save it. But it is wide. Ball coming forward. Sterling wins that. So probably be halftime. Unless we can get one more chance and the ref blows his whistle. So, going halftime up 1-0. Playing decently. Kind of a lucky goal for us to score. Let's see if we can do better in the second half. And Naki Williams coming forward. He is very good on this game. In to Asensio. Harry Maguire should be able to get to that. Trent cleans it up. Coming forward. And Naki Williams to Asensio. Stones very... Good inter oh, what is that pass? Don't do this to me. Why do I pass the ball like that? Why do I pass the ball like that? I was just about to praise John Stones for that interception. I should have just cleared it. Should have just cleared it. Now it is 1-1. That is so frustrating. In this series, I've made so many mistakes. I feel like in our Southampton career mode, I was making... Minimal mistakes. For some reason, in this World Cup playthrough, I keep doing little passes like that that are very dangerous. Can we try and get back from this? That is a good challenge on Harry Kane. Sterling, really good run. It's going to cut to the right. Can this be his first goal of the World Cup? And that is blocked once again. Every one of Sterling's shots have been blocked. All right, I think I have to make a sub. I think Rashford is going to come off for Madison. Sancho on the right, Madison at Cam. And that is all we're going to do for now. All right, 10 minutes left. Subs are still not on. By subs, I mean Madison. Sterling, oh, why can't we play passes this game? All of a sudden, we can't play any passes. Usually, those always come off. Ball played through. Trent wins that. Rashford. To Sancho, Deli Ali, Sancho, he's trying to hit the ball forward, Rashford, he's not going to beat his defenders, Harry Kane, could have a chance here, left footed strike and it goes wide, oh that was such a good chance, 90th minute, this game might be going into extra time, unfortunately I do not want it to go into extra time, two added minutes. Can we get a final attack here? Looks like they want to. Actually, we might. But the ref is going to blow his whistle. So, we are going into extra time once again. All right. Ruben Loftus-Cheek has played amazing when he has gotten in the game. So, I'm going to bring him on. I'm going to bring in Chilwell for Luke Shaw as well. And I'm going to leave it at that. We are so close to the final. We just need to win this extra time. Stones into Madison. Trent can play a good ball to Harry Kane. Can he beat his defender this time? He can on his right foot. And that is wide. That is so far wide. You have to put that on target at least. All right. Can we protect the ball a little bit better? Or even possibly go on a break? Oh, that pass is not going to 
reach Harry Kane. This has been such a poor first half of extra time. So it is still 1-1. Good ball into Asensio. Stones wins that. Can Kane stay with it? He can. Into Madison. Kane. Oh, what is this touch? Why can't we keep the ball? Only four minutes left. I want this goal. We kind of need to hurry. Oh, Madison, why are you losing it there? Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. It's not good at all. And Williams into Asensio stones and Spain score in the 120th minute oh I just felt it coming right when they're coming forward I felt it Madison loses the ball and that looks like that ball is gonna put Spain through to the World Cup final we have like no time left at all and we try and create something from this Kane in to Sterling. I need people to come forward. Loftus cheek into Harry Kane, and he can't make the turn. And we are knocked out of the World Cup by Spain in the semi finals. Just like 2018, we make it to the semi finals, but we are knocked out. Oh, that is so unfortunate. So unfortunate. We should have beat Spain. Can't believe they scored in the last minute. I can't believe that. Oh, that is so disappointing. So, this is the third place game against Germany. So, where is the final at? So, in the final, it's Portugal versus Spain. We are not going to play this game. We are just going to simulate it. Oh, that is so unfortunate. I played... I was so confident going into that game. I feel like if it went to penalties, we might have lost as well. Because on ultimate and penalties, I never seem to do well. Oh, that is so unfortunate. I am so disappointed. But Sterling puts us up 1-0 in the 38th minute. Once again, England knocked out in the semis. That is such a curse. That is so unfortunate. So we win the third place game. I guess that is for pride. All right, let's see who won the World Cup. Portugal or Spain? And Spain win on penalties. So the game ended in 2-2, went to penalties. Spain won 5-4 on penalties. So it's a good World Cup final. But the team that knocked us out is the team that win the whole World Cup. Oh, that was so disappointing. Let's see if we can see the top scorers of the competition. So, Oyazaba, is that how you pronounce his name? Was the top scorer of the World Cup with eight goals for Spain. Deli Ali had four in the World Cup, so he had a very good competition for us. Other than that, no one in the top 15. Loftus Cheek with two. Oh, so unfortunate that we could not make the final. So unfortunate. So, this is going to be the end of our little mini series with England. Maybe we'll come back for the Euros or some kind of other international competition. But pretty much after this, we're going to go back to our normal Southampton career mode. We're going to go into season four. Just getting a preview. We have a lot of money to spend in this season four. 153 million. That is by far the most we've had with Southampton. And our focus for season four is going to be Champions League. So we are going to look to bring in some players to help us win that competition after already winning the Premier League. So that video will be out soon, starting season four of my Southampton career mode. But if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Hope you all have a great day.